Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so I used to have a MacBook and I really miss the um, MagSafe charger. Um, I really like the magnetic, as magnetic aspect. It's really, really convenient. So I was looking around online for something similar for my other devices. I had recently bought a magnetic USB cable for my headphones, which had a micro USB plug, but it doesn't really supply a lot of wattage. So it doesn't really work with my devices, which most of them have some sort of fast charging capability. That's why I found this. Um, it's a magnetic USB cable from a company called YKZ, uh, which supports up to 100 watts of charging. So that means that with the right charger, it's able to fast charge most phones, tablets, game consoles like the Nintendo Switch, and even laptops like my Lenovo or the new MacBook Airs or Pros. As most devices now have a USB-C plug, I went ahead and bought five um, USB-C magnetic plugs, which surprisingly have very, very strong magnets. I only bought one cable end because I usually just use one charge to charge all my devices and I don't really find myself needing to charge multiple devices at one time, so um, one should be okay. Here's the packaging for the USB-C plug. Um, if your device doesn't have a USB-C port, it's okay. The company also sells other plugs like the lightning port or micro USB. Um, I'll leave some links down in the description below to the cable and some chargers if you guys are in the market for some. So the packaging is really simple. The magnetic plugs are individually packaged in a Ziploc type of bag. These magnetic plugs and cables are usually sold separately so that you can mix and match different plugs but still want to use one cable. The magnetic plug is very simple. Um, in my case, it's just a USB-C plug with the connectors on the bottom. This is the first time I've seen this type of connector which has the golden contacts inside of the plug. Usually, the ones that I see are on the outside. There's a nice click, you insert the plug all the way. It's a very strong connection to the port, so I'm confident that it's not going to go flying out anytime soon. Three contacts, and it doesn't put too, too much out of the USB-C port, which is good since it's going to be connected to on your device all the time. Here's the cable end. This also has a USB-C plug on the on the end, so you'll need to use a USB-C charger in order to utilize the 100 watt charging capability. Here's the packaging again, um, nothing real fancy. I bought the 1.8 meter length, but they also sell it in a shorter one meter. The cable is nicely bladed black, uh, nice for durability, but not really nice because I have cats and they like to scratch on this texture, but that's okay. Here are some tests uh, trying to connect the magnetic ends. It's a very strong magnet and it easily attaches to the USB-C puck. Um, to remove, you just twist the cable end off. Uh, here's my laptop. It only has USB-C ports. Um, the magnetic puck protrudes out as before. Um, a little intrusive, but not really that big of a deal. I've seen other magnetic pucks which stick out much more. Now to use the cable, you need to have a USB-C charger. Um, here's mine. It's a Think Plus 65 watt charger by Lenovo. It's a pretty compact charger and it fits in the palm of my hand. All you have to do is plug the USB-C end on, of the cable into the charger, plug the charger into the wall and the magnetic end to the pucks on your devices. You'll know that your device is charging by the thin strip of blue LED on the side of the magnetic cable and and also the indicator light on your device. My headphones are indicating red for charging. I found that the charging aspect is directional dependent. Um, this means that it can only be plugged in one way. As you can see, if I flip the magnetic end over, it doesn't charge. Um, I'm guessing that because it's 100 watts, um, it's a lot for a magnetic cable and they couldn't manufacture it in a way where it could charge both ways. Yeah. A little bit of a hassle since USB-C is reversible, but not really that big of a deal. Um, just make sure that the blue light is facing you so that you can know for sure that your device is charging. If you guys are wondering, um, yes, this cable functions to transfer files off of your devices. Um, I managed to connect my phones to my PC using this cable. The transfer speed was not affected compared to using a normal USB-C cable. Uh, flash charging was also working on my laptop. As you can see, this is using the normal charger and this is using the magnetic USB cable. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than using a normal fast charging USB cable, but um, I think that the convenience um, of the magnetic aspect is very much worth it. Links are again down in the description if you guys are curious to check any, any of these products out. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much the end of the video. Um, thank you guys uh, so much for watching.